Have you ever pondered on the magnificence of the Lord's deeds? They are truly astounding. For those who find delight in His works, it becomes a form of meditation, a soothing balm for the soul. The highest heavens belong to the Lord, a testament to His unending power and majesty. He ascended to heaven and came down, showcasing His omnipresence. He has gathered the wind in His hands, showing His control over the elements. He has bound up the waters in His cloak, demonstrating His authority over the forces of nature. Pause for a moment and consider the earth, with its vast landscapes and teeming life. Who established all its ends? Who fashioned and made it? It is the Lord who created the heavens and stretched them out, who spread out the earth and its offspring. He is the one who gives breath to the people on it, and life to those who walk in it. God, the Lord, has not created this world to be an empty void. He formed it to be inhabited. He commands us to stay on the path He has laid down for us. By doing so, we can live long and prosperous lives in the land we occupy. This land, this earth, He has given to humankind a gift of immeasurable value. In His grand design, a virgin conceived and gave birth to a son. To us, a child was born. To us, a son was given. The government rests on His shoulders. He is the Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. He is Emmanuel, which translates to God with us. God said, Make mankind in our image, in our likeness. We are made to rule over the fish in the sea, over the birds in the sky, over livestock and all wild animals, and over all creatures that move along the ground. Consider the church, the body of believers. Christ is the head of this body. He is the firstborn from among the dead and holds supremacy over all things. His presence brings delight and rejoicing. To Him be the glory forever. All things come from Him, through Him, and for Him. Those who stray from the straight paths and walk in the darkness, who find pleasure in evil and rejoice in twistedness, are delivered through His grace. Ruth replied, Where you go, I will go, and where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people, and your God my God. This is the power of faith, of steadfastness, of unwavering love for the Lord. In summary, the Lord's deeds are amazing. The earth and heavens are His creations, and His commandments guide our lives. He gave us His Son, and through Him, we find salvation. We are made in His image, and we find joy in His presence. His grace delivers us from evil, and our faith in Him binds us together. Remember, the Lord's greatness is beyond our understanding, but through His Word, we can catch a glimpse of His infinite power and love.